everyone today's video is going to be a little bit different i got this idea to film a full face sort of look using tinted makeup or like tinted skincare just to kind of see what the look would end up looking like i got the idea after i had purchased the becca zero pigment foundation and after I had picked up the Dr. Papa Multipurpose Soothing Balm, this one is in the shade Rich Mocha and it is so cute. It is for your lips, cheeks, and cosmetic finishing with a hint of tint. But I would kind of put this more in like a skincare balm category. So I liked the Rich Mocha one so much that I went ahead and picked up the one in Peach Pink and this one in Ultimate Red. And then I just have a couple of other items like the Honest Beauty Honestly Bright Eye Tinted Eye Cream, which I thought might be cool for the look. I also brought over the Honest Beauty Magic Beauty Balm Stick because they're magic balm this stuff is literally the best like little multi-purpose balm thing and then from coco kind i actually have to check to see if they still sell this product um but this is the coco kind full brow balm and it is brown i haven't really tried this before although i have had it in my collection for a while coco kind does have this still listed on their website but they do say it's sold out along with their lip balm which i really like it's just their cinnamon lip balm and honestly, it's so good. But yeah, I just figured I would try these products and try to do like a full face with these just to kind of see what they look like. Plus I think that they would be like the perfect mask makeup and also truly be like a no makeup makeup look. And these, I have like such a good variety of colors to work with. So I can definitely use the Rich Mocha Balm for bronzer um, and then either of these for like lip and cheek products. So let's just get started. So I'm first going to apply the Becca Zero Pigment Foundation. And I have used this a few times. After seeing a few people review this product, I was kind of thinking like, oh, they just don't really know how to wear it or they're just not giving it enough credit like i i understand you know i understand the marketing about this product but i kind of felt like for those of us who do like natural makeup that this might be an interesting concept especially if you are going to wear like some makeup over it or do a sort of look like this but this product when i did get it it was a little different than what i thought it was going to be um not that i thought it was going to be like a life-changing product but i was sort of hopeful that it would add maybe a little bit of like neutralizing and blurring which i kind of feel like it does but at the same time i'm kind of like is it really doing anything but that is what the Zero Pigment Foundation looks like on my skin. And then I'm going to go in with the Honest Beauty Honestly Bright Eyes Tinted Eye Cream. And this is in Sandstone. They only have two shades of this eye cream. And I got the lightest one. I did try this product out and I felt like the shade was fine for me. So I do feel like if you are around my shade or even a little bit darker, you could still get away with this shade it really doesn't offer like any coverage it kind of just is like an under eye brightener but when i used it the other day i quite liked it so i'm excited to get more use out of it and kind of see kind of see what this does for me this would be a really great product for like a no makeup makeup look i'm just adding it around my nose because i do have some redness there and i'm kind of hoping that it will neutralize a little bit of that redness also going to add a little bit to my chin i just feel like instead of adding coverage this eye brightener definitely neutralizes an area which you know is helpful enough when you're doing a look like this my chin has been so bad with breakouts recently so i do feel like in a way this product did neutralize some areas that i would likely cover up with concealer so it did help a little bit but it definitely falls under like a no makeup makeup category and definitely something like a tinted skincare product just something probably easy this would be a great product for someone who maybe doesn't wear makeup but wants just something a little bit very subtle looking eye brightener i am for like my bronzer i'm going to go in with the dr papa multi-purpose soothing balm in rich mocha 
and the color looks like that i got all of these dr pawpaw bombs from ulta and they were in the lip balm section so i guess some people might categorize this as makeup but i'm putting it under the tinted skincare category because it's still a balm but honestly that looks pretty cute i'm just gonna add a little bit to my nose just to warm up my nose and adding a little to my forehead to make my forehead look a little bit more bronzed i'm going to actually for my like blush moment i'm going to mix together the peachy one and the mocha one because i want to kind of create like a pinky brown nude blush oh my god look at how cute that blush is these are so nice too like what nice little product just to keep in your bag just like a little multi-purpose number oh my gosh the shade you guys how cute oh this looks so fresh faced i love 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 that color Applying a little to my lips. Going to skip on the highlighter just because my face is already super duper dewy. But I am going to go in with the Coco Kind Full Brow Balm. I don't know if people can still get this product anymore. It didn't really seem like they were selling it still. But I'm just taking some on like a spoolie. And I'm going to run it through my brows. Just to get some product in them. This brow balm looks like a little tinted, but it's not really it's not really adding color into my brow. I do feel kind of like my brows are thickening up a little bit though, like as I'm using it. And then I'm just going to curl my lashes. Oh my gosh, I haven't curled my lashes in a really long time. And with all the supplements my mom is having us take, Oh my gosh, I feel like my lashes are getting so long. Apparently she says it's the vitamin D. I want a little bit more color on my lips, so I'm going to add some of the red to the balm that's already there. And the red just looks like that. And I'm going to add all that in. Oh my gosh, that made even more of a cute pinky brown nude moment. And adding... Of my lips, adding a little bit more color to my cheeks. I definitely am having fun. Like, I'm having a good time applying this sort of fake makeup. <laughs> Just going to go in with a beauty blender. I know there's not like any makeup on my skin, but I don't want any of like the color from these products to be anywhere they're not supposed to be but yeah what do we think i think that this is kind of cute i really love the idea of like tinted skincare like a true no makeup makeup kind of look to something easy something simple something very minimal looking uh things that are going to be like good and nourishing for my skin too this was just a short little video a little bit of a silly concept but something that i personally was curious about so i can't be the only one you know over here wondering about a full face of tinted skincare but yeah that is it for me today thank you guys for watching this very random video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you know maybe you got a product recommendation or something but that is it for me today if you aren't already subscribed definitely go ahead and do so and hopefully i see you next time